My name is Bobby Thomas. Welcome to Digital Wisdom. Today, I wish to introduce uh, one tool for search engine optimization. It's Yoast SEO. WordPress is one of the most popular open source content management system used approximately uh, around 75 million websites. Why people are using WordPress is because it's free and it's very easy to deploy and upgrade. And the important thing is like thousands of awesome plugins available in WordPress to empower the web developments, which reduce development cost and deployment time. So SEO is significant uh, because it makes your website more visible and that means more traffic and more opportunities to convert customers. So today I wish to introduce one of the best SEO plugin for WordPress is Yoast SEO. The Yoast plugin makes it easy for your website to meet highest technical SEO standards. It gives you the tool to bring your content to the highest standards of SEO. To know more about Yoast, you can visit, uh, uh, there is a website like Yoast.com. In Yoast.com, you can under understand what the advantages are uh, for an SEO like uh, in websites. Also, uh, you can see the products uh, they are offer. So uh, visit the product, uh, product, you can visit the products uh, link there, uh, then you will get an idea what are the products uh, in the, they all, yours provides for to better perform uh, uh, the websites in search engines like Google or Bing. And uh, it's like there is, uh, uh, there is two, uh, two options, uh, uh, two options available uh, to install the Yoast uh, in our websites. One is free is your plugins. If you are if you are a user or a developer, you are making a website, uh, uh, not much uh, in a commercial level or you are in a beginner level, you can go for a Yoast is your free lay, free. Or if you wish to pay some amounts uh, to better perform in some elements, then you can opt for Yoast SEO Premium. So you can compare uh, other tools like a different parameter, but uh, in Yoast SEO. But I prefer uh, free or paid. That's up to you. But uh, but the thing is, uh, you have to go with uh, Yoast for better performance. So to install Yoast, there are so many ways to install a plugin in WordPress, but the I will I will tell you the easiest way to install a plugin in uh, WordPress dashboard. So login into WordPress uh, login dashboard, then you will get an idea uh, like uh, how to install a WordPress plugin from the dashboard itself. So uh, just uh, go through, uh, there, is a two, uh, there is a link in left bar like plugins, uh, then please click there. Then uh, it will guide you when uh, one page like this. Then there is an option to type a search. Uh, there is a search box in right side. You can type Yoast. There is an option to add new, add new, add new. Then uh, just uh, type Yoast there. So you can see the uh, uh, Yoast plugin button there. There is an option to install now there. So you can just install on there. Then uh, it will give you option to install the plugin to into your WordPress dashboard. After installing the WordPress dashboard, you can see something like this because in this uh, website, I already installed the WordPress, uh, 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 Yoast plugin in this WordPress. So just go, then after install this WordPress, uh, you can see a SEO, a SEO tool there. Then you can click the general tools. Uh, 
uh, then uh, there is a dashboard uh, tool there you can connect uh, uh, so many things like you can use uh, there's a features like a plugin uh, uh, their integration uh, then uh, There is a webmaster tools so you can go through all the things like enter the webmaster in integrating the webmaster tools uh, all the things there and uh, the the main important uh, feature with the word process like uh, when you take the posters uh, in wordpress so in this case uh, i opened just opened a one page uh, one post in this wordpress like of six of the best organic honey brands in India. So when you post an article, uh, you can see some more field related to Yoast is your just below to uh, below to the uh, content area. So there is like a plugin like SEO, readability, schema and social is there so in this way in this way you can fill out all the things like you can go through the SEO SEO you can put the SEO title slang is there then the meta description related to the page and uh, uh, then it will give you uh, some color schemes like if you feel some uh, red signals here and orange and green if the orange is uh, with uh, orange means is it fine we did a great job uh, uh, in optimizing the page and here you can see the uh, some red uh, red signals so we can sort out you you can uh, work for to improve uh, your performance in future uh, like uh, in this page there is no internal links appear in this page so if you see something like that then you can work out to create some internal link to other pages related to the website so there is no specific rule if you don't need an internal link you can avoid then keywords in introduction like your keywords or synonyms do not appear in the first paragraph so it's important some uh, so you, you can work on it later uh, then keywords in meta description so you can work on in, uh, that in uh, meta you can add the keywords in meta descriptions then you can work there is there will give you improvement options uh, you can sort out the problems then you can work on the improvements if the thing if, if the uh, condition is okay for you like outbound links if it's fine then uh, uh, if you if you are okay with some outbound links from your page to other sites then you can put some outbound links there then image alt attributes so it's always good the image attribute in the website so you can put uh, uh, you can put image attribute there so you can see other good results is very good for the page which is already optimized so these are the things uh, we can do with uh, SEO uh, your plugin uh, your plugin so it's very simple tool and uh, uh, very easy tool so so I wish everyone uh, will use this tool to improve uh, your website performance in search engines thank you for watching my videos